Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay magre-review tayo for Engineering Board Exam Mathematics. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so ngayon ay tutuloy lang natin yung Review natin for Engineering Board Exam Mathematics Algebra 4 Part 1. So sa Part 1, natapos tayo sa item 22. So ngayon, mag-start tayo magsagot sa number 23. Okay? So we have, in how many ways can 8 persons be seated at a round table if certain 2 persons are not to sit next to each other? Okay, so round table ulit tayo. So gagamitin natin yung formula na N-1 quantity factorial. Tapos, ang hinahanap natin dito this time ay yung arrangement of people na hindi magkatabi naman. Yung two certain people daw. So, di ba ang na-encounter pa lang natin na problem ay yung mga magkakatabing certain number of people. So, ngayon yung mga hindi naman magkatabi. So, para makuha natin yon pwede natin isubtract yung number of arrangement of uh, persons. Let's say two persons yung given na magkatabi doon sa total number of arrangement nung 8 persons in a circle without considering magkatabi man o hindi. ba? Sensible, right? Kapag sinaptrack mo yung magkatabi doon sa total number of arrangement, makukuha mo yung total number of arrangement na hindi magkatabi. Since alam natin kumuha ng magkatabi, diba? So, pwede natin masolve to. So, doon muna tayo sa total arrangements nung, nung 8 persons in a circle. So, meron kang 8, diba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, n minus 1 factorial. So, 8 minus 1 factorial or 7 factorial. Minus doon sa uh, magkatabi yung dalawa para makuha natin yung hindi magkatabi. Right? So, pag ginawa natin yun, i-consider natin as 1 yung uh, dalawang person. So, drawing tayong walong tao. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 consider natin to as 1. So, parang ilan na yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 minus 1 factorial times yung pwede pang arrangement ng dalawang taong magkatabi, which is 2 factorial. So, therefore, it is our final answer. 7 factorial minus 6 factorial times 2 factorial. So, using calculator, our answer is 3,600. Letter C. Okay? Next, we have, if 15 people won prizes in the state lottery, in how many ways can these 15 people win first, second, third, fourth, and fifth prizes? So, since yung problem natin ay nagre-required ng order of winners, which is first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, mahalaga yung arrangement. So, therefore, gagamitin natin dito ay permutation. So, N, P, R. So, ang N natin dito ay kung ilan yung number of people na mananalo, which is 15. So, we have 15 P. And then, yung R natin ay kung ilan yung pwesto na mapapanalunan. Ilan yun? 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. Therefore, 5. So, we have 15 P, 5. So, use na lang natin yung calculator para masolve yung sagot. So, we have 15 P, 5 is equal to 360,360. So, therefore, our answer is letter P. Okay? Next, we have, if three sticks are drawn from five sticks whose lengths are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cm, what is the probability that three sticks drawn form a triangle? Okay, so, apply natin yung concept ng probability. So, para mahanap yung probability, we have the number of member or element in a given event over the number of sample space. So, yung number of element natin sa event natin, ay yung event natin na hinahanap ay kung ilan daw yung mabubuo nating triangle kapag pumili tayo ng tatlo sa limang sticks na may mga lengths na to. Tapos, yung sample space naman natin ay kung pipili tayo ng tatlong sticks doon sa limang sticks without any restrictions. Right? So, yung sample space natin bali dito ay NCR lang. Kasi pipili lang tayo, ba? Which is, ilan yung N natin? 5. Tapos, C, R, yung R natin ay tatlo. Kasi triangle yung kukuhain natin. So, so 
5C3. So, ang tanong, aning number of event natin dito sa E? Kasi yung gusto natin ay makabuo tayo ng triangle. Kasi meron tayong triangle inequality theorem, which states that the sum of the two lengths must be greater than or equal to the third length. So, kapag hindi nasunod yon, hindi tayo makakabuo ng triangle. So, ano-ano yung mga number dito, kapag nakapag kinumbay natin as 3, ay makakabuo ng triangle. So, try natin isa-isahin. So, itong 1, 2, 3, makakabuo ba? Yes, kasi yung pinakadalawang maliit na number, which is yung 1, 2, pag in mo, equal or greater than dun sa third number, which is equal sa 3, right? So, pasok. So, isang combination yon Ano pa? Let's say 1, 2, 4. Pasok ba yun? Hindi. Kasi pag in mo yung dalawang smallest na 1, 2, ay 3, hindi greater than doon sa third side na 4. So, hindi. How about 1, 2, 5? Hindi rin. Kasi yung 1 plus 2 is 3 is not greater than 5. Okay. So, dito tayo sa 2, 3, 4. Pasok ba yun? Yes. Kasi yung dalawang smallest natin na 2, 3, pag in natin ay 5, greater than doon sa third side na 4. So, pasok. So, 2, 3, 4. Next, 2, 3, 5. Pasok din kasi 2 plus 3 is 5 which is greater than or equal to 5. Okay, so 2, 3, 5. Next, 3, 4, 5. Pasok ba? Yes, kasi yung dalawang pinakamaliit ay 3 plus 4 which is 7 greater than 5. So, 3, 4, 5. How about 3, 4, 1? Yes, obviously. Kasi 1 plus 3 is 4. So, or 1, 3, 4. 3, 4, 1 or 1, 3, 4. And then, 3, 4, 2, yun, nagamit na natin, di ba? Uh, next, 4, 5, 1. 4, 5, 1. Pasok, kasi 1 plus 4 is 5, which is equal din dun sa 5. Ano pa? 4, 5, 2. 4, 5, 2. Pasok, kasi 4 plus 2, yung dalawang pinakamaliit ay 6, greater than dun sa third side na 5. Okay? Tapos, 4, 5, 3. So, nagamit na. So, therefore, ito na yun. Kasi maulit na kapag nag-combine pa tayo ng 3. So, ilan to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, therefore, we have 7 number of combinations. Which is, yun yung susulat natin sa numerator. So, we have 7 over 5C3. Yung 5C3, ano ba yun? Gamit tayo ng calculator. 5C3 is 10. So, parang 7 over 10 or in decimal 0.7. So, the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, we have, In how many ways can 7 boys and 7 girls sit in a row if boys and girls alternate in position? Okay, so sitting arrangement. So, gamit tayo dito ng factorial. Kaso, meron tayong provisions na dapat alternate yung position ng girls at boys. So, so therefore, Meron tayong ilang dapat na upuan. Sa 7 plus 7, 14. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, dahil alternate tayo, meron tayong dalawang case. Pwedeng nauuna yung girls sa boys. So, girls, 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 girls. Tapos, boys na yung nakapagitan kasi alternate, di ba? Tapos meron ding another case. Mauna naman yung boys. So, 14 ulit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, una naman yung boys. So, boys, 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 boys. Tapos girls, 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 girls. So, tama. ba Dalawang case. So, ngayon, gamit ulit tayo fundamental principle of counting. So, dito sa first choice, dito muna tayo sa case 1. So, dahil 7 girls sila, ilan yung pagpipila natin sa first position? Pito, right? So, 7. Tapos, dito sa second slot, boys naman tayo. So, 7 pa yung pagpipilian, di ba? So, 7 pa rin yung choice. Dito sa third position, ilan na lang yung pagpipilian natin sa girls? Anim na lang kasi nakapuna sa unahan yung isang babae sa 6. Sa boys din, ilan na lang? Anim na lang din kasi napili na natin dito sa second seat yung isa. And so on, hanggang napunta ka dito sa dulo. So, therefore, parang... 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1. So, parang yung first case ay 7 factorial times 7 factorial. Ito yung sa girls at ito yung sa boys. So, ito yung total ng first case. Sa second case, 
parang ganun lang din kasi inuna lang din naman natin dito yung boys so, sa first position ng boy meron tayong 7 choices sa girls meron din 7 dito naman sa third position meron naman tayong 6 choices na lang sa boys tapos sa fourth position 6 na lang din sa girls kasi minus 1 and so on hanggang sa dulo so 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1 so parang same lang din plus ito yung first diba plus yung para naman sa second case So, 7 factorial times 7 factorial. Parang times 2 lang nung 7 factorial times 7 factorial. So, parang we have 2 times 7 factorial times 7 factorial. We have 50,803,200. So, therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, we have an organization has 25 members. Four of whom are ECEs, in how many ways can a committee of three be formed so as to include at least one ECE? Okay, so combination lang tayo kasi magsaselect lang tayo ng members. So sabi, meron daw tayo 25 members. Tapos, apat daw doon ay ECE. Tapos, bubuo, bubuo raw tayo ng committee of three. Tapos, dapat daw at least one doon ay ECE. So, meron tayong different cases dito. So, so i-consider natin yung case kung saan meron tayong one member na ECE, meron tayong dalawang member na ECE, tsaka tatlong member na ECE. Tatlo lang kasi, tatlo lang yung bubuin natin. So, hindi pwedeng apat na member ng ECE. Okay? So, the three cases tayo. So, dumunan tayo sa first case kung saan isa lang yung ECE. So, yung number of ways na pipili tayo ng isang ECE doon sa apat ay 4C1, right? times yung remaining 2 ay kukunin na natin doon sa kabuuan ng 25 members na hindi ECE which is 25 minus 4 is 21 yun yung mga hindi ECE kukuha tayo doon ng ilan kasi ap, kasi tatlo di ba tapos kumuha na tayo ng isa doon sa apat na ECE so ilan pa dalawa na lang so we have R is 2 and then sabi ko nga kung ilan yung hindi ECE 25 minus 4 is 21. So, ito yung sa case 1. Sa case 2 naman, dalawang ECE member. So, we have 4C2 ways para pumili doon para pumili ng dalawang ECE doon sa apat. Times, kuha naman ngayon tayo ng isang member doon sa hindi ECE. So, ilan yon? C, yung arm mo ay 1. Tapos, yung ilan yung members mo? 21 pa rin. Right? So, ito yung ways kung saan makakawa tayo ng dalawang ECE. Tapos, kapag tatlong ECE, ilan? We have 4C3. Kailangan pa ba natin pumili doon sa mga hindi ECE? Hindi na kasi tatlo lang yung kukuhain natin. At lahat na nung kukuhain natin ay ECE. Kasi, 3. Kasi, apat sila at pwede tayong kumuha ng tatlo. Okay, so ito yung total number of ways na pwede tayong pumili ng committee na yon So, 4C1 times 21C2 plus 4C2 times 21C1 plus 4C3. So, gamit tayong calculator. We have 970. So, the answer is letter C. Okay? Next, we have find the number of different triangles which can be formed by joining the vertices of a decagon. So, decagon is a 10-sided Polygon. So, ito yung drawing natin. So, sabi, ilan daw yung number of different triangles na mapaform by joining the vertices? So, meron din tayong sampung vertices. So, ito yun, diba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, para makabuo tayo ng triangle, kailangan natin ng tatlong vertices. So, let's say ito. Itong tatlong vertices na to. Tapos tatlong vertices na to. Tatlong vertices na to. Ito. Ito. Ito, and so on. So, parang kukuha tayo ng 3 vertices at a time doon sa 10 para makabuo tayo ng tatlong triangle. So, combination lang. So, we have 10C3. Yung 10 kasi yun yung number of vertices doon decagon. Tapos 3 kasi bubuo tayo ng triangle. So, yung number of pipiliin natin doon sa 10 ay tatlo. Kasi triangle has 3 sides, right? So, therefore, the answer is 10C3 lang which is equal to 120 Okay Letter C Okay Next we have 
compute the number of 12 letter combination of all letters in the alphabet. So, combination yung keywords. So, therefore, gagamit tayo ng NCR. Okay, so yung N natin ay kung ilan ba yung letters ng alphabet, which is 26. So, we have 26 C. R natin ay kung ilan yung letter combination na required, which is 12. So, we have 12. So, so the answer is 26 C, 12. So, using calculator, masasolve natin ito as 9,657,700. So, the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, we have, by stringing together 10 differently colored beads, how many different bracelet can be made? Okay, so, since bracelet yung bubuoy natin, so obviously, ang shape niya ay circle kasi susot natin siya sa risk natin, right? So, therefore, we have permutation in a circle. So, ilan ba yung differently colored beads? Sampu. So, we have 10 minus 1 factorial. So, the answer is 10 minus 1 or 9 factorial. We have 362,880. So, therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay, so wag kayong papalito doon. Baka gawin nyo kasi ay in a row. Kasi hindi nyo na-consider na bracelet yung bubuhin. So, dapat kapag bracelet, circular siya. So, dapat i-consider nyo yung cases natin din sa problem. Okay, kasi kung row yung ginamit mo, ina times 10 mo pa to, wala kang ima minus 1. So, magdadagdagan to ng 0. Right? Pero, since wala, ito pa rin yung sagot niya. 362,880. Okay? Next, we have, A boy has 8 flowers of different variety. In how many ways can he select 2 or more flowers to form a bouquet? Okay. So, combination ulit tayo. Kasi may keyword tayo na select. So, pipili daw siya ng 2 or more flowers from a bouquet na binubuo ng 8 flowers. Therefore, pipili tayo ng dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito, tsaka walo doon sa bukay. Kasi, two or more, eh, or at least two. So, meron tayong iba't ibang combinations na mabubuo. So, dun muna sa two, ano yon? Eight, C, two. Taken two at a time. Plus, kapag tatlo naman, eight, C, three. Taken three at a time. Plus, apat naman, eight, C, four. Taken four at a time. Plus 8C5, 5 at a time. Plus 8C6, 6 at a time. Plus 8C8, o yung lahat na kukuhain niya. So, kasi, ang hinahanap ng problem ay 2 or more. So, therefore, iisa-isahin nyo yung combination na yun. So, pag sinolve nyo sa calculator, masasolve nyo ay 247. So, yung sum nitong lahat ng ito ay 247. So, therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay. Next, we have How many 3-digit area codes are there for a telephone company if the first digit must not be 0 or 1 and the second digit must be 0 or 1? Okay, so fundamental principle of counting ulit. So, 3-digit area codes. So, so, drawing tayo ng tatlong lines. Then, imumultiply natin yung tatlong lines na yun. So, sa first uh, condition, sabi daw yung first digit must not be 0 or 1. So, bawal yung 0 or 1. So, di ba meron tayong pagpipilian na 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, bawal itong dalawang to. So, ilan lang yung choices natin dun sa uh, first digit? Ito lang 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Which is ilan yun? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 choices. So, lagay nyo dito, 8. Dun sa second digit, must be 0 or 1 lang daw. So, therefore, dalawa lang yung choice natin. 0 or 1 lang eh. So, sulat natin dun sa pangalawang line ay 2. And then, dun sa dulo, since wala tayong restriction na no repetition is allowed, pwede natin gamitin lahat na ng number na to from 0 to 9, which is ilan yun? 10. Right? So, therefore, our answer is 8 times 2 times 10 or 160. So, therefore, letter A. Okay? Next, we have... How many four-digit even numbers can be formed from the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9? Okay, so fundamental principle of counting ulit. So since meron tayong four-digit na kailangan, mag-draw tayo ng apat na line. At nakamultiply sila. 
So dahil ang pinapahanap sa atin ay 4 digit even numbers. Take note ha, even. So, meron tayong cases sa dulo. Pwede tayong magkaroon ng ilan? 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So ilan yun? 5. Right? Kaso, meron tayong restrictions na kapag sa 4 digit number, hindi dapat kasama yung 0 doon sa first digit. Right? Sa so, bawal lang 0 para makonsider siya na 4 digit. Kasi kapag 0 yung first digit mo, hindi siya 4 digit, 3 digit lang yon. So therefore, ihihiwalay natin sa dalawang case itong problem natin. So, first case, ang ending natin ay 0. Case 1. Case 2, ang ending natin ay yung ibang even numbers na pwede. Ano yon 2, 4, 6, 8. So, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Okay. So, lahat ng uh, possible number na mabubuo natin sa case 1, i-add natin sa possible na mabubuo natin sa case 2. So, dumaan tayo sa case 1. Kapag nag e sa 0 yung number. So, kapag nag e sa 0 yung number, ilan lang yung case natin sa dulo? Isa, di ba? 0 lang. Tapos, punta tayo sa first digit. So, since nagamit na natin tong 0 sa huling digit, at hindi naman talaga natin pwedeng gamitin itong 0 dito sa una, ilan na lang yung pagpipilian natin? Pwede na yung 1 to 9, ba So, ilan yon 9 choices. And then, dahil no repetition is allowed, okay, so wala akong sinabi, pero dapat no repetition is allowed, mamainasan natin tong 9 choices ng isa. Kung kunyari, nagamit na natin dito yung 7. So, hindi na na yung choices, 8 na lang. So, parang, times 8, and then bawasan ulit natin ng isa, magiging 7 na lang. So, ito yung 1 possible kapag 0 yung dulo natin. So, we have 9 times 8 times 7 times 1 or 504. Next, dun naman tayo sa case na yung dulo natin ay 2, 4, 6, 8 kasi even nga, ba? So, kung meron tayong 2, 4, 6, 8 sa dulo, ilang choice yun? Apat. Okay, dun ulit tayo sa first digit. So, for example, nagamit na natin yung isang number dito sa 2, 4, 6, 8 sa dulo. Dito sa unahan, ilan na lang yung possible nating pwedeng mapagpilian? 0 to 9. So, minus 1, 10 yun, ba Minus 1 is 9 na lang. Kaso, sabi ko nga, bawal yung 0. So, maminusan mo pa ng 1. Ilan yun? 8. Sa so, sulat nyo dito ay 8 choices. Right? Kaso, sa pangalawa, pwede mo na uling magamit si 0. So, kahit magbabawas ka ng isa, mag-a-add ka, mag ka uli ng isa. Kasi nga, pwede na si 0. So, magiging ang choice mo uli ay 9. Right? So, therefore, paraho lang din yung number of choice mo dun sa pangalawa. So, 8 pa rin. And then, babawasan mo ng isa, 7 na lang ang pangatlo. So, therefore, we have 8 times 8 times 7 times 4 is is 1,792. So, add mo yung dalawa. 1,792 plus 504 it is equal to 2,296. So, therefore, the answer is letter A. Okay, so tatandaan nyo yung case kapag even yung pinapahanap na digit, ha, dapat hihiwalay nyo yung zero sa dulo doon sa hindi. Okay? Next, we have, How many car number plates can be made if each plate contains two different letters followed by three different digits if the first digit cannot be zero? Okay, fundamental principle of counting ulit. So, sabi, kailangan daw natin ng 2 different letters tsaka 3 different digits. So, ilan lahat yon 5. So, drawing tayo ng 5 lines. Then, dapat multiply natin sila. So, dun man tayo sa first 2. Di ba, kailangan natin doon 2 different letters. So, meaning no repetition is allowed kasi different yung keyword. So, ilan ba yung letters sa alphabet? 26. So, sulat nyo sa first line ay 26. Then, sa second line, dahil no repetition is allowed, mamainasan nyo ng isa yung 26. So, 25 na lang. Okay? Next, na tayo sa 3 different digits. So, sa number daw. Kasa may provision na dapat yung first digit cannot be 0. So, ilan yung pagpipila na lang natin? From 0 to 9, babawasan natin ng isa. Diba 10 yung 0 to 9? Minus 1. So, 9 choices na lang. Yung 1 to 9. So, therefore, 9 choices na lang tayo dito sa first uh, line for the number. Tapos sa pangalawang line for the number, uh, different din yung keyword natin so no repetition is allowed. So, babawasan natin ng isa yung choice. Pero this time, pwede na yung 
0. So, 0 to 9 ulit yung pagpipilaan natin. Pero assuming na nagamit na natin yung isa doon, mamayasan natin yung 10 choices na yon. So, ilan na lang? 9. So, 9 yung second choices. Then, dun sa third, mamayasan din ulit natin tong 9 ng isa para hindi na magamit yung nagamit man natin. So, magiging 8 na lang. So, ito yung final answer natin. 26 times 25 times 9 times 9 times 8. Which is 421,200 ways. So, the answer is letter B. Next, determine the number of possible outcomes of tossing 5 coins simultaneously. Okay, assume daw na meron kang 5 coins. So, kapag tinos mo raw yun ng sabay o hinagis mo sa ere, ilan yung possible outcomes kapag lumapag sila sa land. So, parang fundamental principle of counting lang din siya. Diba sa isang coin, ilan yung choices mo na pwedeng mag-land siya? Dalawa, head or tail. So, so, drawing lang tayo ng line na lima para dun sa limang coins. So, ito times natin yung bawat line. So, sabi ko nga, sa isang coin, meron tayong dalawang possible outcomes, heads or tails. So, therefore, ilan yung choice na ilalagay mo dun sa first uh, coin? Dalawa. Dun sa pangalawa, dalawa lang din kasi puro coin lang naman din yung itatos mo. So, two, same dun sa pangatlo, two, pangapat, two rin, at panglima, two rin. So, parang two times two times two, times 2 times 2, or 2 to the 5th power. So, yan yung number of possible outcomes, which is equal to 32. So, the answer is letter D. Okay? Next, we have how many committees of 5 can be formed from a group of 6 electrical engineers and 3 electricians if each committee is to have at least 3 electrical engineers. So, bubuo ulit tayo ng committee na may 5 members. Tapos, mamimili tayo sa 6 electrical engineers, saka 6 electricians. Kaso, sabi, dapat meron daw at least 3 electrical engineers dun sa lima. So, parang marami tayong cases. So, consider natin yung case kung saan meron tayong at uh, 3 electrical engineers, tapos meron tayong 4 electrical engineers, tapos, 5 electrical engineers. Kasi hanggang 5 lang tayo kasi yung 5 lang yung members ng committee natin. Hindi na pwedeng lumagpas sa 6. So, ibig sabihin nun, kapag pinili natin lahat ng electrical engineers na 5, mawawala na tayo ng electricians. Kasi possible way pa rin yun, ba? So, consider muna natin yung 3 electrical engineers. So, kapag 3 electrical engineers yung mapipili natin, dun sa 5, meron tayong ilang combination. So, NCR. So, 6 yung pagpipili natin. So, 6, C, then yung R, 3. Tapos, multiply natin doon sa electricians, yung combination na pwede sa electricians. So, ilan kukuhain natin sa electricians since meron na tayong 3 members for electrical? Dalawa. Tapos, mamimili tayo sa tatlo. So, yung N ng electricians natin ay 3. Tapos, yung R natin ay dalawa. Kasi, 3 plus 2 is 5. So, yun yung first case kapag at least 3 yung electrical engineer natin. Kapag at least 4 naman, so... Meron tayong for electrical ulit. 6, C, R mo ngayon ay 4 kasi gusto mga 4 times. Doon naman sa electricians, ilan na lang yung pipiliin mo? Isa na lang para total of 5. Tapos 3 pa rin yung, pipag, yung pagpipilian ng electrician. So, 3, C, 1. So, ito yung second possible combination. And then kapag puro electrical engineers, so, ang combination natin dyan ay 6C5 So, wala na tayong electricians Kasi, lima na eh Although, pwede nyo isulat pa rin na Times 3C0 3C0 5 plus 0 kasi is 5 Pero, equal lang to Kapag kinumpit sa calculator na 1 So, parang ita times mo lang to sa 1 So, parang ito lang then effectively, right? So, therefore, pag sinod natin to sa calculator We have 6C3 times 3C2 Plus 6C4 times 3C1 plus 6C5 We have 111 or 111 so Therefore, the answer is letter D Okay? Next, we have How many permutations can be formed from Mississippi? Okay, so naturo ko naman ito Diba dun sa first video ko So, kapag burn kayong word Na pinatahanap yung number of permutations Bilangan nyo lang kung ilang letters yung nandun sa word na yun. So, sa Mississippi, ilan ba yun? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, sulat nyo, 11 factorial over. 
ilan yung mga naulit? So, doon muna tayo sa M. May naulit ba sa M? Wala. Sa I, meron. Ilan yung I? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, sulat nyo para doon sa I, I, 4, and then factorial. Times, ano pa yung naulit? S. So, ilan yung S? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 S. So, sulat nyo para sa S, 4 factorial. Times, meron pa naulit? P. Ilan yung P? Dalawa. So, sulat nyo para sa P ay 2 factorial. So, yung lahat ng mga nauulit, susulat nyo sa denominator. Tapos, lalagyan nyo ng factorial yung number of times na naulit yung mga letters na yun. Ay, mumultiply nyo sa isa't isa. Tapos, sa numerator, laging kung ilan yung letters ng word, ipa-factorial nyo lang. So, using calculator, masasolve natin to as 11 factorial over 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial. Uh, 34,650. Letter A. Okay? Next, we have, In a meeting, each attendee shake hands with others once. There are totals of 45 handshakes. How many people are in the meeting? Okay. So, meron daw 45 handshakes total sa isang meeting na merong mga attendees of people. So, ilan daw yung naging total number of attendees? So, kung isipin nyo, parang magkocombine tayo dito ng dalawang tao kasi nag-handshake sila. So, sa dalawang tao, one combination na yun. So, therefore, apply natin dito yung concept ng combination or NCR kasi hindi mahalaga yung order. As long as nag-handshake sila sa isa't isa, one combination na yun. So, apply natin dito yung formula na NCR. Okay, by the way, kaso ang problema, hindi to same dun sa mga previous examples ko about combination. Kasi this, this time, given na yung total number of combination, which is yung 45 handshakes, right? Ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung N natin na kung ilan yung nag-handshake na tao. Na kung ilan yung pinanggalingan ng 45 na handshake. So, ilang tao yung nag-handshakes. So, automatic yung R natin dito ay dalawa. Kasi we take two at two persons para mag-handshake. So, N, C, 2 yan. Unknown natin yung N. Tapos, naka-equate to sa total number of combination, which is 45. So, paano natin masasolve ngayon si N? So, di ba nag tayo ng equation na N, C, 2 equals 45. So, gagamitin natin dito yung formula for combination. So, by the way, hindi ko pa pala yung napapakita. So, C of N of R, or function nung Combination natin ay NR equal yon sa NCR nga equal siya sa N factorial over R factorial times N minus R factorial. Tapos sa permutation naman, so P of N of R or NPR N factorial over N minus R factorial. So ito yung formula nilang dalawa. So mapapansin nyo sa combination, mas mababa yung number of ways niya. Kasi naka-divide pa siya sa R factorial. Unlike sa permutation, wala siyang divide R factorial. So, mas mataas yung magiging uh, computed value natin for permutation. So, ngayon sa equation natin, i-apply natin yung NC2 dito sa formula. So, pag sinasitot natin, we have N factorial, which is unknown. R factorial is 2 factorial times N natin, unknown, minus R factorial natin na 2. So, n minus 2 factorial is equal to 45. So, ngayon, paano rin ito isasolve for n? So, apply natin dito sa left side yung concept ng factorial. So, di ba yung n factorial, itong numerator, equal yan saan? n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 dot dot dot. Pagka mapunta tayo doon sa 1 sa dulo. Right? Kasi doon sa naturo ko doon sa example ko about factorial over 2 factorial times itong n minus 2 factorial babawasan nyo lang din ang babawasan nyo ng 1 so parang n minus 2 times n minus 3 account doon sa minus 1 so negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 na tapos n minus 4 dot 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 hanggang 1 okay so mapapansin nyo pag in-apply natin yung cancellation makakancel natin tong n minus 2, n minus 2, n minus 3, tsaka ito, di ba, n minus 3, pwede pa natin isulat, n minus 4, hanggang 1 nga. 
So, maka-cancel natin lahat to. Therefore, matitira, ito na lang expression na to, n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial. So, therefore, equate natin itong n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial sa 45. So, we have n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial. Yung 2 factorial natin na equal siya sa 2 times 1 or simply 2 na lang. Equals 45. So, multiply natin both sides of the equation by 2 para makancel yung denominator na 2. So, we have n times n minus 1 is equal to 45 times 2 is 90. Then, distribute si n. So, n squared minus n is equal to 90. So, meron tayong quadratic equation. So, transpose natin si 90 sa left side para 0 yung right side. So, n squared minus n minus 90 is equal to 0. Factor na lang natin. So, n, n, then 9, 10, negative, positive is equal to 0. Then, equate each factor to 0. So, we have n minus n is equal to 0, so therefore n is equal to 10, or n plus 9 is equal to 0, therefore n is equal to negative 9. So, so unacceptable tong n natin na negative 9, kasi wala namang negative na number ng tao, so ang accepted value ay n is equal to 10. So, therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, we have how many different signals, each consisting of 6 flags, hung in a vertical line can be formed from four identical red flags and two identical green flags. So, nakahang daw sila vertically. Let's say, meron tayong four identical red flags. So, four R, four red, tapos two identical green flags. So, green, green. Sa ilang ways daw, yung arrangement nitong anim na flags in total na to, kapag naka-arrange sila this way. So, kung mapapansin nyo, arrangement to. So, therefore, kailangan natin dito ay permutation kasi mahalaga yung order. Tapos, identical sila. So, apat na R, apat na G for the colors of mga flags. So, parang pwede natin gamitin dito yung permutations no words. Na ina natin na yung word natin ay R, 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 G, G. So, pag in natin yon, we have ilang letter 6, right? So, 6 factorial over, ilan yung naulit sa R, 4 per factorial times sa G, ilan naulit, dalawa, 2 factorial. So, therefore, we have 6 factorial over 4 factorial times 2 factorial or simply 15. So, therefore, the answer is letter B. Okay? Next, we have... In how many ways can the letters of the word engineering be arranged such that all the vowels are together? Okay, so parang lang ding tong yung formula natin sa permutations of letters in a word. Kaso with a twist, sabi dapat all vowels daw are together. So paano yun? Anong gagawin natin kapag ganon? So ganon pa rin. So ang first step, treat natin as one letter yung lahat ng vowels. So, identify natin ano ba yung lahat ng vowels. Diba itong E, I, sa so dalawa lang. Pero, multiple sila. So, sa E, meron tayong ilan? 1, 2, 3. So, E na tatlo, tapos dalawang I. So, treat natin to as one letter. Kasi magkakatabi. Tapos, isulat natin yung natira. Yung mga consonants. So, N, G, N, R N G R N G <coughs> Okay So, pingin natin dito yung formula natin for permutations ng arrangement of letters in a word So, ilan na sila in total? Kung treat natin na as one itong mga vowel So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Right? So, sulat nyo 7 factorial Over Ilan yung naulit? So, dito sa mga consonants, kayo titingin. Huwag kayong titingin dito sa mga naulit dito sa dito sa bawel. So, dito tayo sa consonants. Ilan yung naulit? Sa N, ilan? 1, 2, 3. So, di ba kapag may naulit, nasa denominator, tapos nalagyan yun ng factorial, yung number kung ilan sila naulit. So, we have for N, 3 factorial. Times, meron pa ba? Yes, sa G, dalawa. So, meron tayong times 2 factorial din. And then, imumultiply pa natin to This time, dito naman tayo titingin sa mga vowels. So, apply pa rin natin yung formula for permutations ng arrangement ng letters. This time, dito sa E, 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 I, I. Ilan lahat yon 5. So, 5 factorial over, ilan din yung naulit sa E, meron tayong tatlo. So, over 3 factorial 
times sa i dalawa. 2 factorial. So, therefore, ito yung sagot natin sa problem. 7 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial times 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Use na lang kayo ng calculator para mabilis. We have 4,200. So, therefore, our answer is letter A. Okay? Okay, so dito ko natatapusin yung Algebra 4 Part 2 ko. So, abangan nyo na lang yung next upload ko for Engineering Board Exam Math Review. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.